I noticed I'm not keeping up with Matt or Adam. It's fascinating now. Hey everybody, it's Adam Lee from Siduri Wines. I'm here with Matt Rivlet, Siduri winemaker, and Mark Lingenfelder. Mark is one of our great growers that we deal with at Siduri. He makes a fantastic Pinot Noir here in the Russian River Valley, and then we also use his grapes in our Russian River Pinot Noir. So enjoy a glass of Pinot Noir with the three of us. Cheers. Without being too philosophical, I mean, why are we here, meaning the Russian River Valley? I'm sort of connected to this part of the world. I've been growing Pinot in the Russian River. I think this is my 41st vintage. Wow. Fantastic climate, nice people, good food, beautiful vineyards. Great place to grow Pinot Noir and, and a lot of other varieties too. You know, I fell in love with the Russian River back, I was between my junior and senior years in college because of a girl, of course, not because of wine. But I came out and discovered the first red wine that I ever fell in love with and it happened to be Pinot Noir. And so back in the 1984 vintage. Pinot was actually kind of a rarity in the Russian River then. There were only a few people doing it and people didn't really understand it. My first vintage in California was 2008. I just remember doing punch downs and seeing the sun come up over that stretch of the Russian River Valley, and yeah, I was in heaven. This yeah. is it. I wanted to optimize the quality off of the site. I mean, I wanted it to, to be the best that it could, and I, I felt pretty strong that Pinot was the one to choose. That's a sign of something really special and a sign of the type of thing that Siduri wants to embrace is the uniqueness of the particular spot. I can remember making Pinots in the early 80s. We thought it should be like Cabernet, and that's not what Pinot's all about. It's demanding, but not difficult. What do you think is the most rewarding part of that? It's not so much financially rewarding as it is spiritually rewarding. <laughs> sure. And it takes years to bring the vineyard into production. You know, Russian River, it has your classic kind of bright cherry components, earthy undertones, things like that. But there's also so many directions that that can get pushed from vintage to vintage that I think is really fascinating. Green Valley, for instance, where the fruit is kind of a bluer profile, a bit more tan in there. The bulk of the Russian River Valley just has this beautiful, silky texture, bright fruit character and awesome spice undertones that set it apart. It goes fantastic with beets, like a beet salad with a little balsamic or something on it. It makes the Pinot taste incredibly sweet and luscious and fruity. One of my go-tos is bacon cheeseburgers and Pinot just because it reminds me of summer. I love harvest, I absolutely love it. If I could have harvest 12 months out of the year, I'd be that much happier. <laughs> and some, yeah. some people think I'm crazy to say that because they say, oh, it's so stressful. But to me, it's the kind of stress that makes you feel invigorated. That's why I feel all the way through harvest, like I'm gonna get there, I'm gonna get it done, I'm gonna succeed. You're tired the whole time, but then in a way, you know, we're harvesting this tomorrow and I'm yeah. really excited about that. So in a way, it's like, you know, leaving for a big trip the next day. It's yep. like you're too excited to sleep almost. Yeah. On that note, cheers guys. Okay. Cheers. Thanks for hanging out, Mark. Great to get together. Yeah. yeah.